well. Whatever he looks like, the walk on music's pretty good. This is Robert Bambi Salter. He's got a big support in tonight, just under the balcony where I'm standing. He's got a huge group of supporters in grey t-shirts with the word Bambi written on. I'm sure there's a story behind that name. They're very supportive, very happy to see him, clearly. Robert Bambi Salter, the sign maker, 31 for the black corner. And in the gold corner, here comes James Clements, an education mentor. Youngest fighter so far today, age just 22. Here comes James Clements. James Clements' supporters at the far end, dancing along to his walk-on music. Obviously enjoying the music, the ring girls dancing to it too. It's a good atmosphere in here. Salter clearly the taller of the two. Can he use that long reach to his advantage? Can James Clements slip inside that reach and land those all important jabs, hooks, uppercuts, overhands, whatever he plans to throw. Clements comes out immediately with the jab. The supporters are on their feet, as they are for both fighters. Well, by far, probably one of the calmest starts we've actually seen so far tonight. Oh, slight slip there from James Clements. He regained his footing, though, very quickly. Both fighters fighting very cautiously, really keeping their distance. And James Clements has been on the lighter receiving end of a few long jabs from Robert Bambi Salter. I'm sure Bambi is the scariest of boxer names, but perhaps he'll show his worth in the ring. Bambi supporters looking quite tense. Not a huge amount happening here, really just both fighters sizing each other up. Oh! And Salter did catch. Clement Square on the head guard there. Good movement from James Clements. Round one will be over soon. It's pretty even on the score so far. Robert oh, Bambi Salter possibly might just have it on being quite successful with the length of his arms and those long jabs. Interesting first round. where the supporters for fighters that are fighting are because they're the ones standing up. I imagine when you're watching a friend or a loved one fight in the ring, it's quite difficult to sit down. It's a tense moment. Clements 
opening this round with quite a few body shots there. Doing well, he's clearly come back confidently. But it's Clements now. And Bambi's coming back. Lovely shots. Clements did seem to just catch him there. With a hook from his right hand. Salter's really going to have to use his reach now. Again, we're back to the tactical fighting. Salter moving well. If he can keep that up, if he can get those long jabs in and then retreat when Clemens launches an attack, keep the distance just like he's just been doing. As I was saying that, he could well win himself the fight. Of course, what everyone wants to see is a good, clean knockout. But this fight looks like it's going to be one about tactics and movement. Lovely parry with the right glove there. And uh, Clements launching back. Well, it's pretty close, really. There's not much in it. Clements may have won it because of that onslaught in the corner of the ring. But then again, you could look at Salter's comeback and all those jabs you landed is a fantastic movement and you could give it to him so it's it could go either way this third round really is the decider this is what's going to set the men apart from the boys Robert Bambi Salter in the black James Clements in the gold And they start aggressively. James Salter really lunging in and getting those jabs in. But James Clements punishing him with those jabs. Good work from both fighters here. The reason we're probably seeing a bit more aggression in the third round is because both fighters are very aware that it's pretty even so far. And they're probably aware that the performance they give in this third round could be the deciding factor. Hands up to the mouths of most of Bambi Salter's supporters. They're finding this very, very tense indeed. Salter's really going to have to turn up the gas now if he wants to win this. It's difficult. Both fighters have had fantastic assaults on each other and both have been successful. But you can't help but feel that when James Clemens does do it, seems to be ever so slightly more aggressive but now it's Salter hammering Clements he's got to keep Clements on the defensive if he's to win these points and win the match again a nice hit there Clements has got to fire back and that's it both fighters embrace they're very happy it's close. Neither side is celebrating too much. I think it's quite clear that this could go either way. And there's an argument for both fighters winning this. I feel like I want it to go to Clements. 
but that's probably just because I'm so close to his supporters and I can see the anguish on their faces. Whether it technically went to Clemson, unfortunate, I just don't think I can give a decision here. It's really down to what the judges thought they saw and certainly for keeping their distance and accuracy, I'd give it to Salter. But for the aggression, maybe Clements. I think possibly the black team may have got it just if it was on, on my card. <laughs> A draw. A draw, there you go. I told you it was close. I wasn't lying. Our first draw of the night, a fantastic result. And both fighters clearly showing a lot of respect for each other.